Hello everyone, welcome back. It is Sunday, we're in Cornwall and it's raining today. Uh, but luckily earlier on this week I managed to go down to the park uh, where the sun was shining and we got the slack lines out because this week we are doing a little tutorial on how to walk on a slack line. Uh, so this video is going to hopefully tell you all about how to first of all set up a standard slack line setup using a ratchet and a piece of webbing and the second part of the video is going to be telling you how to do the basics of walking on a slack line. So yeah, here we go. So the first thing that you want to do is choose your area that you're going to set up in. Public parks are usually really good for this. Uh, you want to find a space that's quite quiet, nice and flat, nothing really big or scary nearby, and some nice trees obviously. The second thing that you want to do is pick your trees which you're going to anchor the slack line from. You want to pick something nice, big, strong and sturdy. You also want to check the tree and make sure there's no loose bark or anything that's going to come off and you want to try and make sure you're going to pick a tree which A is going to be strong enough to hold the slack line itself and B is going to be not damaged by you using it. Speaking of damaging trees, the first thing that you want to do when you come to actually setting up is to put on some tree protection. Now this is just little strips of carpet which we usually use bungee cords as you can see to hold in place and what this does is it just protects the tree from any abrasion from your slack line, it also protects the slack line from anything rough that's on your tree and it also sends a message to anyone nearby that you're a responsible slack liner who cares about the environment and wants the trees to survive. Okay, once you've got your tree protection on, then you need your ratchet and your sling. Now, usually ratchets come in packs from companies like Maverick with a sling already attached to them. We always have to take our slings off because we use the ratchets on ground anchor systems where the single loop slings don't work, which is why for this one, I'm using a purple sling, but the method is exactly the same. So basically, all you do in this case is put your sling around the tree and then attach your sling to the ratchet using the simple locking bolt that's on the ratchet itself. The next thing that you obviously want to do is go to your other tree and attach the slack line to it. You can either attach it using another sling or if your ratchet has already got a loop on it, then you can just go around the tree. We always use a metal shackle to go through the loop and reattach to the line, just to prevent abrasion on the line itself. This is the important bit, which is that when you put the line through the shackle, you want to fold it in half and put a twist in it so that when it comes out of the shackle, it comes out nice and flat and you've got a nice flat slack line that you can walk on. Now that you've done that, all you've got to do is take the other end of the line back to where the ratchet is and then find the end of the slack line itself. So once you've found the end of the line, you want to thread the line through the ratchet and then the boring bit, you have to pull all of the rest of the line through until you've got it almost nice and tight. This is the point where you want to turn around and have a look and make sure that your slack line is actually flat before you put any tension on. By pulling on the tail of the line, you can get some tension into the system and then you want to find the release catch on your ratchet, open it and just put a few cranks on the system so that you've got basic tension being held. Before you go any further, this is the point where you want to go back to your other tree, check everything, make sure that the line is all on the tree protection, everything's sitting nice and flat, before you go back and put more tension on. Slack lines are by their nature meant to be slightly slack, so do not worry about putting tons of tension on, especially if you're a beginner. Just put enough on so that the line is tight. Once you've finished tensioning the line, you want to lock the ratchet back in, check that it's not going to move. And now, your slack line is basically ready. What I always like to do at this point is to go to the middle of the line and just lean on it a bit to check that there's enough tension in it that we're not going to bottom out and touch the floor. And from this point, if you know what you're doing, then jump on the line and go for it. If you don't, here are some things that will help you. There are three things that you need to remember about slacklining, which is your feet, your hands, and your eyes. 
Your feet need to go on the slack line, obviously, but they need to go on straight with as much of your foot touching the line as possible. Turning your feet to the left or to the right like this actually makes it a bit more difficult to balance, it destabilizes your ankle, and it also makes it easier for your foot to slip off the line like this. Again, feet go on the line nice and straight. The next most important thing is where your hands go. A lot of people think you want to put your hands out to the side, but actually you want them to be above your head for the majority of the time. They don't want to be static, so you want a little bit of movement in them so that they can adjust and keep your balance. But for the majority of the time, your hands want to be above your ears. And the last and possibly most important thing is where you are looking. A lot of people will get on a slack line and immediately look down at their feet. You don't want to do this as it will confuse your brain and make it harder to balance. You want to look at the very end of the line. Pick a point on the tree or the shackle or anything that you can see and just focus on that one point. Once you've understood all of those things, the first thing to do is try and take a step. If this seems like too much for you, go back a little bit further and just try standing on one leg on the slack line. See if you can do this for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, but always remember feet straight, hands high and look ahead. If you're struggling with this, then maybe you just need to try standing up and down on the line a couple of times. With one foot on the line, stand up and then gently bring your foot back down to the ground again. Swap your legs over to try and find which of your feet is the stronger one on this. Repeat this until you feel more comfortable standing on the line. There are a number of things that we recommend not doing as they'll make life more difficult. A lot of beginners will end up leaning forwards quite a lot. This doesn't help your balance in the slightest and makes you look quite strange, so we'd recommend not doing this. Another thing that we see a lot with beginners is people bending their legs excessively. Again, this doesn't really seem to help with the balance at all, and it'll probably just damage your knees in the end. Also, you look quite weird doing it. The number one thing you definitely don't want to try doing is running. Momentum will not help you and falling off hurts. Similarly, jumping on a slack line can be fun, but don't try this until you've actually learned the basics. Just remember, hands high, feet straight, look ahead. In time, once you've mastered the basics, you'll find there are lots of different tricks that you can do, and we'll go into these in another episode later on. However, the most important thing really is just practice, practice, and practice. So once you've finished with your slack line, just undo the ratchet, pack up your stuff, and make sure you haven't left any mess. So that is my basic how-to slack line tutorial. Next time I think what we're going to do is a tutorial on some of the basic tricks that you saw in this video and after that we might even do some long lining, water lining, how to set up primitive systems and some other things like that. Apart from that I really hope you guys have enjoyed this, please subscribe, any questions ask us in the comments and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, bye bye.